what we do specifically with the dog poop. Uh, just to put it simply, we throw it away. We throw it away, uh, trash man comes, picks it up, takes it to the landfill, and then it's dumped there. I have personally taken, um, I've taken about 20, 25 trips to the landfill this year just to, for dog poop. Um, and it's so heartbreaking, you know, I, I feel a little guilty leaving the dog poop there and then um, you just get this huge earth moving machine that comes and buries it. And that's our solution as a, as a human race. Um, the most popular uh, way we control trash is by simply burying it, creating these artificial mountains made up of trash. And which is really unfortunate that we can't uh, think of a better solution. But yeah, anyway, you know, with that in mind, last year, I don't know if you remember, for those of you that saw that video, we started using these burlap bags. So the uh, biodegradable, um, my thinking, my train of thought was that if we use those, uh, it would actually help, you know, whenever they're in the landfill, maybe help that breakdown process a little more. And um, I don't know, I'd, at the end of the day, I think I'd feel a little better about that and uh, avoiding plastic as much as possible. In the winter, we do have to use plastic. Um, if you imagine the burlap bags, you know, they're really breathable. And if we were to use them in the winter, it'd be very, very hard to contain the, the dog waste. I think it'd just seep through with the snow, seep through the holes of the bag and drain down the runway, or excuse me, the, the yard and just create such a mess. But, you know, as, as, a, as a landowner, as a business, or excuse me, not a business, uh, a kennel owner, uh, you know, caretaker of dogs, not only is it my job to create a safe and healthy environment for the dogs to live in, but I also have to watch out for the wildlife and take care of the land as well. So although we technically, right, according to bank, bank statements and all that, whatever, jazz, we, we own the land. But truthfully, no one can really own land, right, the way I see it. We can just be stewards of it. And, and so I'm just doing my best to uh, take care of the land uh, while I'm in charge here and while it's under my care. And and hopefully we make a positive impact. And the last thing I'm gonna leave you with here is that we're gonna, I've been talking to a few very, a few very knowledgeable uh, individuals um, about uh, composting dog waste. So we're gonna do a little experiment, uh, very like small level, just, you know, base level, I should say, uh, experiment on how to compost dog poop. I'm excited, I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes. <laughs> Uh, it can be done, but it has to be so meticulous. You have to really know what you're doing and, and um, keep an eye on what what uh, what you do with it. So it's not like horse manure. But anyway, guys, that's that's kind of what we're looking at. Hope you guys are doing well, and I'll keep you posted about the composting. Wish me luck.